Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from Pocketnow.com. Firefox for mobile for Android has been released as a final, final version. Uh, you may have known this previously as Fennec for Android or for Windows Mobile. It's feature complete, it is done, it is ready for you to use, and in this video we're going to talk about all of the features. Let's get to it. So Firefox Mobile has come a very long way and it's finally good enough that you might want to use it as your daily browser. So let's talk about what we have here. It's a pretty big download actually. It's about 15 megabytes. So keep that in mind if you want to download it over Wi-Fi. It may save you a little bit on your data connection. So this is, the, this is what you see when you arrive in the Firefox uh, application. You can swipe to the left to see your open pages, a really great way to manage tabs. Or you can swipe to the right to go back forward to check out your favorites to do settings and do some other things that we'll talk about in a minute. Now this has Firefox Sync and it'll sync up with the Firefox desktop browser, which is awesome because you probably have a lot of tabs open at one time. This lets you take your tabs with you. Really cool feature. So let's swipe to the left and you'll see what I mean. If I press the plus button to open a new tab, I get four columns here. I've got all pages, bookmarks, and these are all the standard built-in bookmarks, history so I can see where I've been, or desktop. This is the coolest part. It says Brandon's Firefox running on Windows NT, um, and here are all of the five tabs that I have currently open on my desktop browser. So I can pull up any of these pages that I have open, and it will go there really quick. Just an awesome way to sort of see, integrate that experience from your, from your desktop to your phone, sort of a seamless experience. So we can continue to add uh, various tabs. Um, we can add, let's say, YouTube and Engadget, and let's just load up a bunch of tabs and see how performance is with lots of tabs open. This has really come a long way in terms of performance. It used to be kind of slow and buggy, but now it works really well, and tabs will load simultaneously. As you can see, they're starting to load. Got a lot of tabs coming through there. We're for a Wi-Fi connection, so it should be pretty fast. So just a couple of seconds later and we have all the tabs loaded. Now there are a few things that you can do from here. First of all, let's take a look at pinch to zoom performance and panning and scrolling. So let's flick down the page very quickly. Okay, we get some checkerboard, so not perfect in that respect. Uh, we can stop it and we can pinch to zoom. Pretty good performance. Looks like we accidentally clicked on a link there. And you can go back with the Android back button or you can do a little swipe over here and use the buttons over there. So let's zoom in on something. Pinch to scroll or pinch to zoom isn't as refined as it is on even uh, the, the default browser for Android. Now if we swipe over to the right, you're going to see a few options here. We can go right into the settings. Really nice interface for the settings. We get this tab design again. And what we can do here is we can enable sync, which I've got it. And then it's connected to my desktop computer. This doesn't have flash, something to keep in mind. Here are some formatting options that you can take a look at. Uh, we can go to the download manager, which is a nice feature to have. And of course, plugins. It's one of the coolest parts about Firefox uh, is that the plugin functionality has been brought over. And you can get a little sampling of the plugins available. I've already installed one that I want to show you. You can install Adblock, Bigger Text. Um, there's just a lot of stuff here that really can extend the functionality of your mobile browser. Something that I have installed should show up up here. It's called Reading List. So let's say we click on an article and maybe we're going to be going on the subway, we're not going to have an internet connection, or we're going on a plane or something, we want to save an article to read later. So we're going to let this article load up and I'll show you exactly what this plugin does and how well it integrates with Firefox for mobile. Okay, so it's done. I click on the little icon here and I go to Save for Later. This is the Save for Later plugin. Now if I swipe to the right and I go the, to the Save for Later list, here are two articles that I've saved that are available for offline viewing pretty cool that you could do this with a, with a mobile browser. And as you can see, all of these tabs are open and we can close them sort of one at a time. Let's do a speed test just to get a sense for how fast this is compared to the built-in browser um, in Android. So we're going to load pocketnow.com on both of these. Let's go to pocketnow. We're going to load the desktop view. By the way, this is available in the Android market, so you can download it for free uh, right when you are ready to, whoop, don't want to go there, right when you're ready to, uh, to check it out. So let's go to m.pocket, okay, there. All right, great, so let's go to the desktop site. Now, as you can see right off the bat, um, Firefox is not giving us that full screen view, although we should have that option if we go to preferences 
And let's see, do we have a full screen option? Doesn't look like we have a full screen option actually, which is strange. Uh, so sort of plus one for the built-in Android browser because it allows you to do uh, full screen view, especially when you have the Sense, HTC Sense uh, sort of um, overlay on top of it. So let's do desktop version at the same time. See which one gets there first. We're over the same Wi-Fi network. You can see the status bar sh shows you the loading, and here you just get a little spinning cursor to show you that the, the site is still loading. Okay, so it looks like uh, the Chrome browser, or the stock browser on Android finished first, and a little bit soon after that we got the, the load uh, on Firefox for mobile. You can tell just the difference in pinch to zoom. It seems kind of slower on the, uh, on the Firefox browser. Let's click these links at the same time and see, I kind of missed that. Kind of do it a second after, see how fast that is. So performance isn't as good as you would get on uh, Chrome for Android, but in terms of versatility, you really have a lot of really fantastic options, a lot of fresh interface choices with the tabs on the side and the ability to jump to the favorites list just by clicking over here and swiping to the right. Some pretty good gesture support. And of course, we can go into landscape as well. We'll have to come back and talk about sort of long term how this fares as your daily driver browser, because um, certainly looking at it for five minutes doesn't really do it justice in terms of how it functions on a longer term basis. So give Firefox Mobile a try. Download it from the Android market. Drop us a comment and let us know if you're going to use it as your daily driver browser and how you how you like it or if you even like it uh, and please give us a thumbs up if you like this video and thanks for watching that's it for now